Hi, this is Steve. I'm Bob. This is Jay. We are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And in this episode, we're reviewing the Netflix series Love, Death, and Robots. This is season three, third season. And in my opinion, this was the best season of the three. I think I loved every episode. It was dark as shit. Was... Absolutely argue that. I think the key <laughs> thing, that, yeah. if you look at all the 16 episodes in the first one and the, 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 the much shorter second season, this is the most consistent. It's the most consistent, I tried yes. to pick my favorite episodes. I had four of them on that list. Like half of the episodes, like, oh, these are my favorites. I can't, which one do I pick? I couldn't pick. Their creativity this season, I thought, was better, better than the previous seasons. But I did notice, man, dark. dark. This, it is dark. Gory. Which we Cause, like. Because one of the, if you want to describe Love, Death, and Robots, it, it, you could describe it this way. It is different animation studios handling different, different stories on their own within that theme of Love, Death, and Robots. But also... So it's an anthology. Each episode is completely independent from the other. Right, but, but I love that they've got different animation studios yeah. handling each one. And also, the goal is to you push the boundaries of animation yeah. and not be tied to, to the family, to the little kids. I love watching the show and telling Jay's kids, get out of the room. <laughs> this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is for R-rated stuff, and it's adult, and it's, it's, it's over the top in so many ways. I'm, I'm just, I just love the, just the idea of it. Yeah. I love it. And punches very hard. The execution this season was, was, was it's very, fantastic. very good. Yeah. So look, one of the episodes that you'll see if you watch this season, um, they do this thing. They do the tilt pan camera thing where they make the they they make the whole thing look like it's miniature yeah which i thought was yeah. genius yeah. yeah and when you when you dive into how they exploit it they do a good job of using that nature the nature of being small somehow mm -hmm. they make it really cute and scary at the same time mm -hmm. which i i thought that was brilliant yeah, that was wonderful one thing they they, they definitely favor the you know, the high you know the high res cg mm -hmm. um you know hyper realistic hyper realistic um, animation and that's fine and that and they're doing they're doing wonderful s job with that some some reviewers complain that they're hitting the uncanny value i thought that, that, i think I, they're beyond I don't think the so yeah value. i don't think there's it's not perfect you can tell right. it's cg but it wasn't like it's not like an animated corpse yeah. it talking. wasn't t tom right. things from uh, polar right. yes, yeah there were a couple examples of cell animation and that's fine but i think they need i think they should throw in some other options so like for example how about stop motion do one that's so labor motion. intensive. I know it's labor intensive, but I mean, this is, it could be five Always minutes. asking for more. It could be so, five minutes. What, what, so what I like about just this this medium, you know, is that there again, there are individual stories are ten to fifteen minutes, right? And you know, so you have like a, a wonderful creative idea, a short, tight story to tell, um, and it you know you're not tied. Again, there's no shackles of anything. You're not, you're not trying to support a franchise or whatever. There's no canon. It's just here's a story. We could tell any story we want. That's We're it. completely you know untethered to anything. So that I think that's why the creativity in these episodes, especially this season, the whole series. If you haven't been watching it, watch go watch yeah, season start one over. and three. Start at the beginning and work your way through. Again, there are very little bite-sized chunks. You don't have to. You can pay, you could binge them, or you could just watch one or two at a time. But that's the power. It's powerful. It, it's, it's it's to the max. Up. They are not held back by anything. Nothing could hold them back. If yeah. you're doing a 17 minute, like I, a few of the episodes are like you're just around the 17 yeah. minute mark. Yeah. It's a really good length because they have time to establish the characters enough and the setting enough, and then they dive into the content. But they can throw away any character that they want. Like, nothing mm. is sacred. And right. I find that to be really, it's refreshing. Coming from heavy-hitting brands like Star Wars and Star Trek and all that. Uh, no plot right. armor, like, none of yeah, that. Right, right, yeah, right. yeah. And, then, I mean, you know, I've watched every episode at least twice. You know, I've, I've gone back and watched a couple oh, yeah. of my favorites three times. It's very enjoyable. Like, these, that's the kind of thing where you can go back and watch them over against, like, candy. You know, it's, yeah. you can keep watching them. It's It's... Fantastic. So highly recommended. I don't really have any notes in terms of like what was bad. I, I could just, no improvements at all. I just they loved this season. Uh, so I would watch it. Now let's transition to to some spoilers. So you know, I watch the se the series before you you watch the rest of this this yeah. review, just so we can talk freely about some of the things we really liked. Um, I have to say, I think my favorite episode was the bad traveling. Right? Was, Explain it was the, quick. So, so this is when. This is a, some alternate universe, you know, uh, where you know people um, 
the, by trade, they, they sail the sea and killing monsters. And if things go sideways, they call that you know, bad traveling. And so one of these ships gets attacked by what looks like a giant crab, but it was you know nastier than just a giant crab. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, intelligent. Uh, and just the, it was so creative again, like, and you don't know where the story is going at no point. The story no, takes so many twists and turns. Like you can't map it out Couldn't from the predict. beginning. Based on a short story by Neil Asher, Asher. science fiction. How cool is that? Quality universe. That, That's fantastic. That monster did something so creepy. Yes. Oh my, I mean. It, it used one of its tentacles to pick up a corpse of a human and talk with it like a hand puppet. Yeah. Like made air come out its lungs. And yeah, but see, yeah, but think of how difficult that... Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's a one smart mother to do that. Well, it oh, had to have some it type creepy of... creepy as hell. It had to have some type of magical element, I think, right. to it, too. And just oh. it had whatever. It got its tendrils enough in there that it was able to just barely make... It was oh, barely God, intelligible. It was so creepy. So it was perfect. They really hit the sweet spot there. But just the whole idea, like... Like you didn't know anyone's motivation throughout the yeah, episode, right, you know. Right. Like it really, you know, and they were they were pulling shenanigans on each other, yeah. and so just the way the whole story played out was just really fascinating. Just yeah, great storytelling, great storytelling. Very gory, it, very gory. I, I like to test myself real quick, especially with with this type of show. Yeah. Because you know the ending is coming very quickly, right? Yeah. So about halfway through each one of these episodes, I always check oh, myself really? and go, what's going to happen? How's this going to end? Yeah. You know, just real quick to see if I have any idea. Right. Guess what? I'm 100% wrong, wrong every time, uh, yeah. which is fantastic. Yes. This episode, I, I'm like, I, I thought that he was going to help the monster. Yeah. And then basically. That's the thing. You don't know. Yeah. You don't really know what side he's on. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And you don't know like who's really going to take command. I mean, you kind of they were favoring this character, but yeah, yeah. but you didn't really know. Um, anyway, yeah. So well done. What, what was that? So that was my favorite. Why don't you say what your favorite was? Um, Swarm, Swarm. Swarm was wonderful. Really... I mean, v very, very, very realistic CG. The CG was was off the hook, showing an alien society um, that has lived for millions of years. And humans, you know, come in and they they want to take a, take advantage of them in, in in a certain way. Yeah. And uh, the ending came out of nowhere, and it yeah. was fantastic, just totally knocking us off of our pedestal. That was wonderful. I love an alien society. It's not a human with a with a brow ridge, you know, yeah, yeah. makeup. This is completely yeah. alien. Completely and this society, their society and civilization was completely alien. And the ending, I loved it so much. I want to see what happens. I want more. There was something creepy from the second that episode started though the the setting was creepy real aliens. it was creepy yeah. you know when 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 he enters their domain mm -hmm. everything about it made me uncomfortable like it's the exact situation i would never let myself oh, do oh absolutely right? and how about that first really cool alien that yeah. the guy's talking to he probably knew about this he probably yeah. he probably you know he probably you know, let, let you know, let this happen. He let it unfold and didn't warn them and say, "Hey, by the way, yeah, that's a B and C." Didn't tell them what these things mm -hmm. were really. That's smart, about. Bob. I think you're right. Yeah, I, I have mean, to rewatch it now and see. So my favorite episode was, it was the CIA bear one. Yeah, yeah one? Kill, kill, team kill. kill team kill. All right. So Steve, you said Your something about this. Well, it was the, uh, they they it was leaning into and embracing like the most extreme toxic masculinity, like right. I mean, yeah, it was, it was these guys. Like the guy walks into a room full of guns and goes, "This is where I go to jerk off." Yeah, that was, <laughs> right that's there. basically <laughs> the episode. There's a lot of great one-liners yeah. in here. Like they they joke around about a honey badger, which yeah. I thought was great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, they don't give a shit. The, they, <laughs> well, they what's interesting, especially with these experimental, yeah, you can call these experiments, all yeah. of them. They were able to make comedy and horror like right yeah. right along with each yeah. other, and oh, it worked yeah. really well in that in this one. Comedy and horror work really well together. They yeah, for some reason they do. Well, they partly because it's like you know it's a balance emotionally. You need the, the relief. Viewer. Yeah, you get, you get yeah, the, right, both right. Sides. I did. I really dug like the '70s styled animation that they pulled mm -hmm. there. Right, that was the cell animation one yeah. you were talking about. Yeah. Su I mean, super adult, super gory. I mean, my girlfriend didn't even watch. I think more than three frames. She's just <laughs> like not even looking at it because it was over the top gore. <laughs> that one part when they go into the vault. Yeah, and you see the light. The, the light turns on, and you, you get a load of that hallway. I was yeah. like, "Whoa!" Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I was, yeah, I was sitting next to you while you were kidding. watching. Yeah. <laughs> and that was that one was reminiscent of the, another episode. The we'll just call it the Cthulhu episode. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because yep. uh, we're in the spoiler, you know, version of, of the oh show. Oh my god! When but I realized it, what was in there. Yeah. Like again, I you don't know it. where this is going. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, something bad's going to happen. But you, yeah, and the, the whole free me. You know, like release me. So release me. They, they, they did a couple of things yeah. right, and they, you know, I mean, I'm not going to 
look, they could do whatever they want. Right. Cthulhu, the second... Don't a, shackle them, Jay. Wait, the second a human lays eyes on Cthulhu, you're supposed to go insane instantly, right? Yeah. Like, you know, because it's an unkillable, metaphysical sure. creature. But it was cool at the end that she yeah. plucked her own eyes out because that's, yeah. that is... The, I would yeah. say that he was controlling his impact on humanity because he needed them to be insane enough to, to release, release him. him. Yeah. That's, that's a good he, point. He needed that. That's a good point. He, and here's one thing that I thought of. If I'm going to be shackling Cthulhu and I've got these flesh spiders on the, on, on, the, on, the cave, on the interior of the cave walls and they were basically, they came out and they were swarming on the walls and then dropping on people... And then you're done. You've got yeah, 20 once they get you, Once they get done. you, you're fine. What they should have done is, instead of having them come in a wave chasing the people, they needed to appear uh, here and in the front. Other side. Yeah, and in front. So basically, there's nowhere for people to go. Well, they had to drop have this, on them, and then you're they done. They had to have the security system fail, because otherwise the people I wouldn't know, have gotten to Cthulhu. But it wasn't my security system. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but it was a cool choice. I mean, anytime somebody uses that mm -hmm. monster, I'm always like... I'm impressed that someone decided to do, to do it because it's to like, go there, yeah. yeah, it's a it's big, de it's a big yeah. deal. It, you, you don't get to see a lot of Cthulhu. No, know? absolutely, yeah. and I love the little touches. Like he grabbed one of the pillars, and it, the runes glowed. It lit like up, it, like yeah. it was magical because you're not going to just chain Cthulhu. Yeah. You need it needs some need, heavy duty yes. magic to do that. All and right, they that, did. Anyway, one more thing about that episode. <laughs> right? You know when when he was like getting in their heads right away because his yeah. eyes open and then they're all of a sudden like oh, you yeah. can see him affecting them and she was seeing like visions of like what's going to happen. Yes. Oh my God, that was so scary. Man. As soon as she killed him, I said, kill yourself Herself. right now yeah. because he will take you over. Eh, too late. Well, she yeah. used all her bullets on the other guy. I mean, jump off the cliff. Have, this, have the blade bots kill you. I said, the kill yourself. Bots, yeah. She should have because uh, now it's going to be bad. Another episode I think we have to mention <laughs> is... Jabbar? Is, well, the, the, the sentient one? rats. The okay. Rats gain sentience. They take over the barn, and then evolving rats. Yeah, the evolving rats. The, the guy who wants, is trying to exterminate them, but he's like a Scottish farmer, and he eventually comes to like empathize with the rats because they're rebels, and he's a rebel. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, it was kind it of it was fun. It was stylized fun. CG, which I liked. Yeah, yeah. The style, you know, the stylized stuff was really good. The accent, the Scottish accent, yeah. of course, is just awesome. I could listen to that all day. So, guys, watch this. Yes. Watch this season. Fun. fun. You know, go back and. There's a few episodes in each of the first two seasons that I think are just Epic. remarkable. Yeah. It's worth watching all of them to find those those extra special mm -hmm. episodes. But this was the one I thought the most consistent yeah. sure. season. Everyone, I'm like, I like that episode, I like that, I like that one. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, you can go to Alpha Quadrant and the number six .com. We have a Facebook page, we have a Patreon page that you can go to as well. And guys, I'll see you next week. <laughs>